Hello, hello. Isn't that cool? I love it. <laughs> One of the pictures. I fit ears. <sighs> Drink for me. So, what I want to talk about is discipline, I guess, in Japan. I, I just started talking about today, today's incident and decided, I mean, I'll just talk about it in general and make it an official blog instead of a rambling rant. Um, so obviously, especially coming from the States, uh, discipline is different in Japan. Um, at my school, which I keep hearing that the junior high school I'm at is one of the best schools in the area. So yeah, cause I have heard people say that their kids get away with murder, you know, basically, and they don't get discipline. Where, what I actually see all the time, it's a ton of discipline. I mean, I don't think a day would go by that a student wasn't in the teacher's room, standing there, head down, hands behind their back, teachers yelling at them, saying, like, did you think about other people, how that would affect them, you know, different things like that, and they're just like, I, I, I. And, you know, they start to cry or something, you know. And that's all I see, discipline-wise, is the teacher just berating and yelling at the student while the student stands there and takes it. Not, like, they, they apologize, obviously. But, I don't know. Like, is there, like, a time that you do so much? Like, you did this wrong. So this is 20 minutes of me screaming at you about how wrong it was and repeating myself again and again for 20 minutes. I don't know. But, um, there's also, you say something inappropriate in class and you might get hit upside the back of the head. So, um, today, though, my second ears... I love them and I'm seeing a lot more of them so I'm actually getting to know them even though I rather be teaching the first years um, I, I, yeah, I'm appreciating my time with the second years and I really want to be at the same school next year so I can see my second years become third years and graduate and then my little first years would be second years and all that the other day, I already saw, this isn't part of discipline, but there's a dance, a traditional area in the area, local traditional dance, that um, the second years at my school does. They have now taught the first years how to do it, as in, like, passing on the tradition. And I was standing up, kind of like on the balcony, watching them, and some of my little first years, like, yeah, doing the dance, and I was just like... I was touched seeing the tradition pass down. So anyways, this is one problem student. I like him. He makes the class fun, but he just doesn't know the limit. He doesn't know how far to take it. And I was in this class with him a couple weeks ago because my shadow wasn't there, so it wasn't last week. So, um... The other ALT was there, not the problem one, but the actual co-worker one was in the class with me too. And basically, uh, the second grade teacher, now she's really cool, but her she's standard lecture classes, so they hardly ever do activities or anything really fun. It's just standard lecture, I have my five minutes, repeat after me, that's it. So... She's a great person. She's fun. So I don't know why she teaches like this. But she's also a very new teacher. Like, she still has some training wheels on, you know. They're about to come off and she's becoming an official homeroom teacher and everything next year. So anyways, um, she yelled at the class because she asked them something. They didn't reply. And she ended up yelling at the class for the 50 minutes of class. And I was just standing in the corner. And it's just very awkward because I don't know how to take it. I'm... <laughs> my history 
I'm very sensitive when it comes to anger and people being yelled at or getting in trouble and doing things wrong. So I, I kind of shut down a little bit when this happens. Like she's like yelling at them every day. I'm just kind of like, okay. And I don't know how to act in that situation. And even though I'm like reminding myself, she's not yelling at you. <laughs> this is at them. She's not yelling at you. This is at them. I don't know how to stand there. Like, do I stand there like, yeah, you, you, you know you messed up. I used to like you, but no more. <laughs> or, you know, how am I supposed to stand there? And every time she'll say something really good, it's kind of like, oh, she just said that. And then I see another kid that has the same thought as me, but they actually animate it. They're like, oh, and they start laughing or something. And then I'm like, <laughs> No laughing. <laughs> I don't know how to act. It's very awkward. So anyways, today, same problem student that caused that problem, that yelling for the whole period. She, uh, or he, he, oh, I do like him. He has a lot of energy. He likes English and he uses it. He's like, okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, he's, he uses it whenever he can and he has fun with it, which is the best way to learn a language. Well, he set her off. And he, he never he doesn't know when to stop. And she yelled so loud. Like I was in the other side of the room with the um my shadow talking and I just like uh but she's yelling and I think he even flinched a little. And it was just so loud. It was actually hurting my ears. I was on the other side of the room. I'm like, ow. And when we went to the another one of her classes later in the classroom that was at, that was this classroom, in there, the next classroom, they actually asked her, like, why were you so angry? And she said, oh, ask the ALTs. <laughs> like, I don't want to talk about it. So anyways, um, so they heard her. <laughs> it was so loud. She packed up her stuff and walked out. I was just like, why did she just walk out? I think she's really cool. She's nice. And I knew what she was doing because she had this big, the huge stack, like a whole classroom of textbooks because she's checking the textbooks for something from the previous class we just had. So she picks them up and I go over to the door and I slide it open and I was going to follow her and help her with the textbooks. But then two of the students ran after her in like to apologize and so they're going on and she's like well you know you guys don't i hear her like yelling at the students and i'm standing there i'm like what am i supposed to do and then i see some of the students laughing or smiling and i'm just like uh-uh and i said in japanese to them i said only two students go after her like really like three minutes later one student gets up that like five students join them and they go out and they talk to her and they're just going and going and I really wanted to yell at them like this is ridiculous I mean honestly this is the second time th that I've been there that this has happened and I'm just like this is ridiculous <sighs> I want to yell at them like what the hell but I can only do so much so my so much was saying only two students are going after her. Are you serious? So she ends up coming in and she writes the infinitive on the board because that's what she's teaching them. Because my BOE is switching textbooks. So they're going to be sunshine instead of new horizons. So in that case, there's some stuff that they should have already learned in new uh, sunshine 2, which is the second year. So they need to know it. So they have to have the basis to move on next year with the new textbook. So this is why we're doing this. Oh, it was just ridiculous. So she wrote it, had them repeat after her, and she was done. But I did talk to her later, and she said the problem kid came up and to the classroom and apologized. It's just... I, I don't know how many times I have seen st students, like... I see different types. I see some that are getting yelled at by the teacher and they're in tears. I see uh, other times where they're like, you know, think, do you have an, any idea what you did or blah, blah, blah. And they're just like, really? You're yelling at me. 
and they don't take it seriously, you know? It's just... <sighs> Anyways, I don't want this to be horribly long. So, okay, guys. I'm going to get this uploaded. This time next week, I'm going to be in Nagoya. Totally, totally looking forward to Nagoya. So, it should be fun. I'm there next Wednesday is my last day of work. And I'm going, running home, getting my suitcase to catch the train into Tokyo. Then the next morning, I have a bus to Nagoya. And then the 26th, I'm going from Nagoya to Nagano. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to break. I mean, I love the job and everything. I'm having some issues with some co-workers. But I'm not going to let that ruin my dream. So, all right. I was going to end this about a minute ago, and then I rambled about Nagoya and how excited I am, and concerts and everything. <sighs> Alright, until next time. Ja. <laughs>